So, Julia, I am so glad that we get back together to do some more searching. And I think today we're going to try to go more in depth. The first time we worked together, we were just trying to figure out whether there was any kind of research for our question. And today we really want to start reading. Okay. So, uh, would you mind restating what our question is? Sure. Um, so, what are the causes of depression and anxiety for college students? And my browser actually remembers our search, which was mm -hmm. causes, anxiety, depression, college students. Yep. One search doesn't use Boolean searching, so we don't have to worry about ands. And we'll That's click right. on go. So I think our, our real job today is to start doing some reading and see if any of these are going to answer our question. And we want to see if it makes us think of new questions. What do you think about this one? Depression, anxiety, and academic stress among college students, a brief review. I think that's a good place to start. It sounds like from the title, it's a brief review. So it might um, be something that's more of an overview, but that's what I'm looking for right now. All right, I'm going to click on the title. And let's just notice that this is not getting us into the resource. This is called the bibliographic record, <laughs> and it gives you more information about this, this resource. So mm -hmm. you'll see under view it, online access, we can click this, it's gonna let us get in there once we log in. But if we scroll down, we've got some subject headings that give us hints about what this is about mm -hmm. beyond the title. And then luckily there's a description here. And I always read the description before I actually open up the resource because if I read a paragraph and I decide that this is not for me, at least I haven't wasted time reading 80 pages. So what do you think? Is this going to answer your question? I, it sounds like it's really relevant. I mean, it stands out that it's in the last three decades. Um, so that means it's definitely more recent. And I think that they're... Um, I'm, I'm thinking about the causes and they already identified three, living away from family, a heavy syllabus and inefficiency in higher education. So mm -hmm. I have a feeling that this review would be worth reading because they're probably going to talk about those causes since they already mentioned it in the description. Yeah. Does this make you have any other questions? Um, actually, I'm really curious. I hadn't really thought about this inefficiency in higher education, it raises a question for me about like, how might the institution of college itself be one of the causes? Um, and because I'm, I hadn't thought of that before. I thought it was more just the individual or um, outside stress or academic stress, but I'm wondering what inefficiency in higher education might mean. It's such a good thing to notice that you hadn't thought of that before, mm -hmm. because after all, that is the purpose of doing a research paper, to give you new ideas. I have noticed um, lots of people like to have an idea and then go and look for the citations to kind of dress up their paper. But yeah. it's actually, it's the most difficult kind of research that you would do. Yeah. So let's go up. And let's click on this link and open it up. So it's asking me to log in. If you're off campus, as we all are, you'll log in with the first part of your email address, the part all the way up until the at sign. And you can see this is opening up some database with uh, academic search complete from EBSCO. And you notice that this is another bibliographic record, still not the full text. Over here, there's a PDF full text. Let's click on that. So the cool thing about this, once you read this thing at the end, there are other references. And if you see something that looks interesting to you, we can help you find that. So that's great. And I think I want to keep this article 
I'm going to go over to the side and click this permalink. And that opens a link up here. I mm -hmm. click on it and I control C so I can copy it and then control V, paste it. Some people might be tempted to just bookmark this, but mm -hmm. these articles are generated from the database dynamically, which means mm -hmm. this link up here is going to disappear in about 45 minutes. So if you bookmark it, it's going to bookmark to this link and then it'll, you'll never be able to get back. That's mm. why we recommend that you save this link here. That's really important to know. Another thing to notice is that over here, if you click on the little yellow page thing, it'll help you do the citation. You can grab this citation or you can send it to yourself. 